Okay, what advice would you give to a young woman, a, let's say a, a junior in high school, when she's trying to make a decision as to whether to seek a STEM-related career versus maybe a business or a finance career? What would you tell her? I feel very strongly about this. Um, I think... <laughs> I, All right then. Well, <laughs> I really believe the barriers to becoming an engineer or scientist uh, to uh, women happens at that age. And, and I think that's where we need to push this and facilitate this and encourage it in every possible way we can. Um, it, the barriers, I think you heard, it's an encouraging environment that we're in in the office today. It's in the families and the biases that we put in as we raise the, the girls today that are keeping them from going into the science and engineering, we need to start encouraging them from when they're very young. And I think we need to tell them that, um, uh, that they, they need to practice, try hard. The dues that they put in as they're younger and going to school will pay dividends the rest of their life. Um, I, I love being in the engineering field and I would advise them that they would be, have many, many more opportunities as someone that had a business degree and an economics degree before I got my engineering degree and my MBA. Um, I saw the doors closed on business degrees, but tons of opportunities for a technical degree. So that would be my advice. Go, go uh, help them in every way at those young tender mathematics. Yeah, and I, I, have a, I have a little bit of a different take on that. There are more women graduating from engineering schools today than there are men. So I'm not quite sure I agree exactly with what Nan said. My, my big push for young women and young men would be do what you're passionate about. That's what I think is the most important. I think it makes a happier human being. I think it makes for a longer life. I think it makes for a more well-rounded society. Um, I, I do agree that we need to watch how we're raising young men and young women, but I don't think the barriers are there now, particularly in school. I think there are a lot more, not a lot more, but a substantial number, surprising number, more women graduating in the sciences, math, and engineering than men are. Not than did 10 years ago, but than our men are. So I would suggest people pay attention to their passions. I grew up in the Sputnik area, and I was going to be sure that the Russians didn't beat us anywhere else, and that's why I majored in science. But I, <laughs> We may be facing that again, as Carol pointed out. And so just make sure that your children are aware of everything that's going on in the world and help them find their passion.